man, Made Man here. Y'all know how I get down. We talking boxing, man. It's going down. You know what I'm talking about? Want to talk about Mikey. I see something. Garcia. He is telling everybody that he is 100% getting the Manny Pacquiao fight. According to Mikey Garcia, and I quote, when he was asked about the Conor McGregor situation in Manny Pacquiao, this is what he had to say. I only saw what McGregor tweeted out and what his next fight is. Manny Pacquiao in Saudi Arabia or Middle East or something like that. Well, I think he might be right. I'm pretty confident that his next fight is Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's next fight is not Conor McGregor, end quote. So what Mikey is trying to indicate is that, yeah, sure, I ain't denying that. They, it may happen. But I tell you one thing, it ain't gonna happen before me and Manny Pacquiao. According to Mikey Garcia, and I quote, Manny Pacquiao's next fight is with me. So McGregor has to take a number. McGregor's next fight might be against Manny Pacquiao, but before that, Manny Pacquiao has to fight me first, and that's 100%, end quote. And if you see the interview, he kind of like winked when he said that little part right there, you know, just to kind of let people know, hey, this is what's happening. The fact of the matter is Manny Pacquiao is doing whatever he want to do, and he looking like he want heat. If he has to go and take on a, a, a disowned fighter in, in Mikey Garcia, then it is what it is. You would think it would be much more easier, given that he's on the PBC side, to take on the likes of like an Earl Spence Jr., uh, you know, or something like that. Or, you know, the winner of Earl Spence Jr., Danny Garcia. It's really no politics in pinning that fight, given Pacquiao's been fighting over there with PBC. But Pacquiao does whatever he want to do. Now, stylistically, I favor Manny Pacquiao for this fight. I think Pacquiao's volume, his footwork, will be a problem for Mikey Garcia. Mikey Garcia be sitting around eating a lot of cheeseburgers. We always see him at some sort of restaurant or some more, some, some sort of McDonald's or something like that, always eating. And I think that's going to come back to haunt him. You know what I'm saying? Manny Pacquiao, man, and still got a little something left in the tank. And I think against Mikey Garcia, I favor Manny. And that's just in my honest opinion. I think really also at this point it should be starting to dawn on everybody that Manny Pacquiao pretty much is like a free agent, man. I mean, everybody has been trying to make it a play, make a play for Manny Pacquiao seen Bob Barham trying to make a play for him with Terrence Crawford and trying to get secure funding from the Middle East to lure over Manny Pacquiao. You see Mikey Garcia, who over there with the zone, he getting down with Manny Pacquiao. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and it's like Manny Pacquiao is not seemingly overly committed just to the PBC no more. At first, when he first made the departure from top rank, kind of did his own thing for what the Lucas Matisse fight and then got down with PBC for the next few fights it seemed like he was just overly committed with PBC but at this point now it's like Pacquiao can do whatever he want to do the Conor McGregor talk just like Mikey Talman I think it was just crap anyway it's just clout chasing that's that's what's going on in boxing 2020 but it seems to me that you know Manny Pacquiao would just be a free agent man he, he's got it like he's like a free agent now so, or maybe he's just on a fight-by-fight -fight basis with the PBC. Maybe they get a chance to match. Who knows what's going on? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we'll see, man. Manny Pacquiao is the legend. He can do whatever he want to do, right? So, it just it just makes you wonder, you know. But it's, I just I believe he's a free agent. He just has to be, you know. Because Bob Arum wouldn't be trying to make that play for him as hard as he was. And, and of course, you know, the zone wouldn't, you know, Mikey wouldn't be just so wide open available for that fight like that. Knowing that Mikey may be committed to the zone. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see. And I don't mean, I don't also know how people may feel about, like, just knowing that for Mikey Garcia, this might actually be his retirement fight. If he gets this Manny Pacquiao fight, man, Mikey might be checking out of boxing with this. You already see how Mikey love for the fight game, look, already look in the fight game. He don't seem like he's really, he's more so interested in the business side of it. Uh, he's developing a stable of fighters, like I said, like a lot of other fighters do. Um, also, you know, seeing Dillian White, when Dillian White fought, he had fighters that fought uh, under his banner. I think I hear Earl Spence Jr. is raising a fight up under his banner. I mean, that's what these fighters do. The Charlos are doing it. These fighters need to start to get into the mindset, as, especially as you're maturing as a fighter, that look, not only if I want to push my brand, it's, it's good to give me some young fighters that raise up under my brand. The other way, when I'm not fighting, they can be fighting and I could be putting on shows and getting my promoter feet, you know, wet that by the time it's time for me to call it quits in boxing. Well, guess what? I got a nice little stable of fighters and I done did me a nice little amount of shows. So um, it's, it's good that Mikey is thinking in that fashion. A lot of fighters are starting to think in that fashion and that's the way boxing continues. And that's how boxing can gain more power away from the old school promoters and change the 
the, the fight game because a lot of the fighters now will have more power over the fight game especially from a promotion aspect and controlling stables of fighters so that's good to see you know what i'm saying real spill but to know that mikey might be using this pacquiao fight as a checkout fight how y'all feel about that especially knowing that mikey been so arrogant as of late man saying the, the, the comments that he said about gary russell jr saying the comments that he said about earl spence jr just feeling like giving off an arrogant vibe man and that's just how Mikey feel. Maybe he feel like since the fans been dumping on him so much about the Earl Spence Jr. fight, that, yo, Slim, I can just sit back and say what I want to say. Hey, look, I'm checking out with this Pacquiao fight anyway. Screw everybody. Say what you, I'm going to say what I want on the way out the door. Maybe that's Mikey's mindset. And that's a fat bag if you get the Pacquiao fight. How you feel about that? <laughs> yo. So that's what a lot of the big name fighters do. Manny Pacquiao do it. We just seen Casimero fight recently. He's calling out the monster right now. I will be talking about that fight real soon. And so we just seen that. That's a Manny Pacquiao fighter. Pacquiao has a whole stable of fighters. Uh, he's running through the Philippines over there. I mean, that's what big name fighters should do. You see Floyd Mayweather, he got his stable of fighters. When big name fighters are not fighting, they don't feel like fighting. They let their little, the, the fighters underneath their banner should be fighting during this time. And that's smart business by Mikey Garcia amongst other fighters as well. But I favor Manny Pacquiao in this fight, man. 100%, man. And... It's just, it still baffles me to see how this is going to go down political-wise, and it just all remains to be seen. But Mikey Garcia poking a hole in the bubble of, of, of McGregor and Pacquiao. He's saying, look, I ain't, but he's saying it may just happen. Pacquiao may walk out the door with that fight. He may get that big fat check on the way out the door, sure. But right now, he got to fight me. and We got a pay-per-view. We just waiting on a date, and we just waiting on Pacquiao. And that's according to man, uh, Mikey Garcia. So we'll see how this works out. To the next video. Much love to the fam. Thumbs up on the way out, man. I catch up with y'all real soon. Much love to everybody. And main man, main man's boxing form over there on Facebook. Until the next video, man. Much love. Peace out.